It's Wednesday, March 1st, 2017, about 9.42 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm at Collier State Park Logging Museum, which is along Highway 97. As you can see, there's paved parking, but a lot of it's covered with snow, so drive carefully. Notice there's a lot of equipment around here, really old equipment. Pretty much all of it's related to logging. For example, we got these trailers here that even have logs on them, so you can see exactly how they work. Here we got some handicapped parking only. Let me show you the parking lot first. Notice there's a lot of snow or slush, frozen slush, ice. And then up here, the walkway to the actual museum, there's actually some uh, black ice here. Like all along the road here, th right there's uh, black ice. So I'm going to walk across it very carefully. There's real restrooms. Not outhouse, but actual flush toilets in there. Good stuff. Here's the logging museum. Here's a small map. There's a couple of small trails around here. They're hard to see in the uh, snow. Uh, you see there's also a bridge across Spring Creek over to uh, the campground and so on. Let's see here. See there's a few footprints in the snow here. Not too many people here today. Nice big picnic area there. I'm not gonna stay here that long. There's the gift shop ahead. It's not open, it doesn't even have any posted hours. So I'm assuming it's either weekends only or summer only, something like that. There's no information here. I've never been here before. I'm just stopped here on my way south along Highway 97. Notice there's some cool equipment up here underneath that barn type building. Part of it's fenced off, but I can go around that way. In fact, there's a really cool walkway there I want to show you. Obviously, part of this is covered in snow, so I'll have to be just a little bit careful. Nice, bright, sunny day. There's that picnic area again. There's the restrooms, so I haven't gone too far yet. Here's that building. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Not used to sunshine. All right. So here we go. Some sort of huge engine. I'm assuming it's a steam engine. I'll pan up to so you can see the sign. Weed, California. I think that's actually along uh, I-5. What's now I-5? It's probably Highway 99 back then. But as you can see, this huge black thing there. That's actually a conveyor belt around a roller. I'm gonna walk around to the other side. I'm actually pretty sure I'm not trespassing because I saw a trail over here earlier. It's kind of hard to tell with all this snow exactly where I'm supposed to be and where I'm not supposed to be. Look at the size of that piston in there. Got some fresh hay. I'm not sure what that's about. So yeah, look at the size of that wheel. It's got to be 10 feet diameter. Crazy. And there's a conveyor belt. Notice the conveyor belt goes around the top there. Look down at the floor, there's a walkway. The conveyor belt goes underneath this walkway. So I'm assuming that's rigged so it can actually operate safely in the summer with people walking over here. Now whether tourists are supposed to be here or just people who volunteer here, I have no idea. Like I said, I've never been here in the summer and there's nobody here today to answer my questions. So I'll just have to plead ignorance, I guess. But here's another view. There's another piston on this side. I guess that's steam pipes up there, or smoke pipes. Yeah, it looks like there's smoke coming up. Anyway, then there's the wheel. Some more steam stuff in here. Notice I got some rails. Oh no, that's never mind. That's just some metal equipment. There's some actually some rail based vehicles over there. I'll get to it in a bit. So there's the other end of that conveyor belt or whatever you want to call it, fan belt, some sort of belt. Collier State Park Logging Museum, Chiloquin, Oregon. Okay, so we are in Chiloquin. I knew it was around here somewhere. Something, machinery, Ohio. I wonder if Ohio knows that there are things missing. There's Spring Creek over there. That's the Highway 97 bridge. It's not too busy. There aren't a lot of tourists this time of year, so it's mostly just, uh, what's it called? Semis on that road. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going off trail here or not, but I'll just follow somebody else's footprints. But there's, uh, up here, there's some rail-based vehicles. I want to check out these rail-based vehicles. Oops, make sure my camera's pointing at a reasonable angle. Yeah, some sort of cool little locomotive. Got a little latch there to haul stuff, I suppose. 
please keep off the equipment. All right. Wonder if it still runs though. And then over here, we got some sort of huge crane, also on rails and wheels, etc. Now, I think there's another way around to that equipment over there. So rather than, you know, trample off trail, I'm going to go ahead and go find the trail here. I think the trail is down here. Like I said, with the snow all over the place, I can't really tell where I'm supposed to be. So here's some old wooden buildings. I think they're supposed to be like authentic logging camp buildings. Some of them are open so I could peek inside. Some of them look like they're locked up. Huh. Notice part of the wall is missing. But it gets a bit breezy in the winter, which it technically is right now. Interesting. Looks like it's totally made of wood. Or, well, logs, you know. Lumber, whatever. <laughs> This, from this side, this building looks short. I wonder if it's where, just storage area or what. Take a look inside here. Luckily, they got a little opening here. I can peek inside. Oops. Yeah, I don't see what's in there. It's pretty dark. The camera's not that good. Probably can't see anything either. Okay, I think I see a trail around here to the right. Notice I said I think. Oh wow, there's some rapids on the creek. I think I'll walk over here to check the creek. I don't think I'm gonna cause any harm by taking a quick peek. So like I said, this is Spring Creek. Is that what the map says? So it must be true. So there's a pedestrian bridge over there. And this is the Highway 97 bridge. There's actually a walkway on this side of the bridge to go underneath. And there is also a pedestrian walkway on the other side of the bridge to go underneath. So I, it goes over to a uh, state park, campground, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm not gonna bother checking it out. I didn't come here to go hiking. But yeah, looking up Spring Creek, there's another cool pedestrian bridge. So that's how you get over there if you want to go over to the campground and so on. I'm pretty sure the campground's closed this time of year, and I don't really have time to go wandering around everywhere. But wow, that sure is a pretty bridge. Nice, pretty looking water too. Of course, it brings up the obvious question, where's the spring for Spring Creek? Haven't bothered to look that up. Okay. I think the snow here is pretty shallow, but there's parts over here where it's deep. Looks like they got a sprinkler on top too. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a sprinkler on top of all these buildings. See, I don't know where the walkway is, but obviously, I'm pretty sure we're allowed over to those buildings too, but I don't see any walkway, so I'm just going to stay here. I'm pretty sure this is a walkway because you see all the little signs along each edge. I'm wondering if you can come here during the summer and go in because of all the signs, you know, turn on the lights and so on. Interesting looking building. Lights. Is that a push button? Huh. Yeah, they got the little thing removed. There's like a thing here to turn on the lights, but they got the uh, handle removed. So either somebody stole it or it's been removed for the winter so people don't steal it. 